Hi, Dr. Goldberg here, continuing our internal medicine lecture series. Today we're talking about hepatic encephalopathy, just a dreaded disease that we see in uh, people who have chronic liver disease and cirrhosis of the liver. Uh, obviously, in, in the United States, most commonly that's related to alcoholism, but certainly there's many other causes of cirrhosis of the liver. So what happens in this disease process, the patient becomes chronically encephalopathic. We see nitrogen uh, in the gut, which is produced from bacteria, as well as from different uh, food products, obviously higher in protein. Uh, normally nitrogen is brought to the liver, uh, and unfortunately with cirrhosis, 90% of this could not be metabolized properly, and nitrogenous waste uh, in the form of ammonia, NH3, collects in the bloodstream, crosses the blood-brain barrier, it's absorbed by the astrocytes there. There's increased levels of glutamine, uh, which are synthesized from glutamate uh, because of the high level of NH3. Astrocytes then increase in osmotic pressure, become dysfunctional, and therefore the encephalopathy. The gamma immunobutyric acid system, or the GABA system of inhibition, becomes more active. People get more foggy. We treat this disease basically with lactulose, uh, which is a disaccharide. It's usually 10 grams per tablespoon. Uh, we also use uh, oral antibiotics like rifaximin, uh, as well as metronidazole. You do need to differentiate hepatic encephalopathy from sometimes wernicke korsakoff encephalopathy, which is also seen in patients with chronic uh, alcoholism who have encephalopathy. But this is related to thiamine deficiency, the cause of beriberi. Uh, classically, there's a triad in Wernicke-Korsakoff encephalopathy, which includes dementia, ophthalmoplegia, and ataxia. Uh, interestingly, thiamine deficiency also alters the glutamate uptake by astrocytes, which creates this excito excitotoxicity. Uh, we get lactic acidosis, increase in edema of the brain, white matter dysfunction uh, occurs due to the uh, GABA transporter problems involving the GA23 and the GFAP. So uh, understand these uh, encephalopathies, uh, especially related to the liver, uh, and uh, unfortunately seen in our uh, patients with chronic alcoholism. Thanks, Dr. Goldberg, signing off.